The M3 Lee and M3 Grant have become the butt of many jokes in more recent years. This seems to have come from several different things, such as the Coffin for Seven Brothers nickname it is said to have been given, as well as the lackluster performance in the game World of Tanks. We'll be going deeper into the misinformation surrounding the M3 medium in a future video, but for today, we are going to look at one example of a completely fake version of this tank. The M3 medium was primarily used during fighting in North Africa, being used by both the Americans as the M3 Lee and by the British as the M3 Grant. Both these vehicles were essentially the same aside from the different styles of turret. According to many people online though, there was another variant used by the British during the Battle of Alam El Halfa in September of 1942. This vehicle, known as the M3 Lancer, mounted a 17-pounder cannon in place of the original hull gun. Intended as a tank destroyer, the nickname was reportedly given due to the new gun and lack of turret looking like a knight preparing to charge with a lance. Supposedly, these were used by the 8th Army, with six prototypes engaging German armor. The existence of what seems to be a picture of one of these vehicles at a museum, coupled with the at first believable backstory, has caused a surge of less knowledgeable tank fans to seek its inclusion in games like World of Tanks and War Thunder. Though at first this does seem like a plausible modification, there are some glaring flaws with the story. For one thing, there is no actual documentation of this ever being done outside of various forums and reddit posts. The story itself actually originates the same way, being posted by a user on a scale model forum in 2015. That post's lack of sources alone should be enough to destroy the credibility of the story, but the biggest nail in the coffin comes with the gun. The 17-pounder was not in service until 1943. This means there is no way a vehicle armed with this weapon could have reached the field even as a prototype. On top of this, the 17-pounder would no doubt have been more difficult to install into the M3 hull than simply swapping the cannons. That still leaves one glaring question. Where did the tank in the picture come from? Although it is indeed real, it seems to be some sort of mock-up at the Lahore Tank Museum in Pakistan. Without visiting the museum to measure the gun, it's hard to say whether it is in fact a 17-pounder, but given the muzzle brake style, it could be something entirely different. Judging by the style of muzzle brake, it could be an American 76mm or possibly even a longer 90mm. I'm leaning a bit more towards the former option, as the barrel seems skinnier than a 90. Either way, these sorts of gun or even turret swaps are far from unheard of for display tanks. In a previous episode in this series, we looked at several examples of the Matilda with swapped turrets. More than likely, this was just a gun slapped onto an M3 recovery tank. This is also supported by the lack of the top turret. The plot thickens further when we look at some more recent images from Google Maps. Here we see that the M3 now has the proper gun barrel going back to November 2020. Looking at various videos on the museum, we can see that although the long barrel was real, it was fixed sometime between 2019 and late 2020. This alone all but completely destroys the argument for the Lancer's existence. So despite it being a somewhat believable concept, the M3 Lancer is little more than a fantasy. Although I can't say if the original creator intended for their backstory of the model they made to mislead people, the blame is firmly placed on them for not making it clear that the design was made up. As I have mentioned previously, I have nothing against fake tanks like this, but regardless of if you are a company or an individual, you must make it clear that your creation is fake. All it takes is one person taking it at face value, and suddenly it can spiral out of control, creating a new group of people willing to fight tooth and nail to prove they are correct. You may laugh, but as we've seen in previous Fake Tank Fridays, it takes next to nothing to get people believing in all sorts of fantastical designs. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video helps stop the Lancer myth from spreading any further. If you have a suggestion for something you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments below. Special thanks to my Conley fans and to Ed from Armored Archives for suggesting and helping with this topic. I'll see you all in the next video.